Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your FPS and get better performance in Genshin Impact 4.7 dropped recently. I hope this video helps you out, so make sure to stick around till the end. And with all that said, let's get started. All right, step number one is the essential Windows settings. And for that, open up settings on your PC. And once you're here, scroll down to gaming, go over to game bar and turn this thing off. Game bar consumes a lot of memory in the background and disabling so will help you to gain extra FPS. Right after that, go to game mode and then turn this thing on. Game mode turned on will optimize your PC by turning things off in the background, such as notifications and unwanted services, helping you to gain extra FPS as well. Right beneath that, you'll find graphic settings. Simply head over to that, click on change default graphic settings and enable both hardware accelerated GPU scheduling as well as optimizations for windowed games as both of them will help you to reduce your input latency as well as utilize your GPU for rendering the game. Once that is done, simply close your setting. Now let's move to step number two that is de-animating your windows and it is super essential. Simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and once performance option opens up in front of you, you have to click on adjust for best performance, then click on save taskbar thumbnail previews, show thumbnails instead of icons as well as smooth edges of screen fonts. All three of them will help you to reduce the unwanted animations of your PC as well as keeping the windows look intact. Well, before moving ahead, I would like to introduce you all to GVG Mall, a store which fulfills all your digital needs for games and gift cards in one place. GVG Mall has a wide variety of digital keys for games and in-game currency for multiple vendors, which is legit, reliable, and convenient. On the website, you can find a lot of categories where you can get Steam and Origin, as well as PC game gift cards and genuine Windows activation key. I however liked how convenient it is to get a genuine windows key since I do not like the activate windows watermark on my screen and to fix it I can literally get a windows key for a huge discount. Generally you can get windows 10 for 5378 but on this sale you can get it for 2175 and if you use my code fox25 you can get additional 25% off at just 1631. And you also have windows 11 update for free and it is perfect time to get rid of that windows activation mark. Mark. There are multi-bit payment methods which are convenient and once you buy it, you will get an email within minutes and using that code, you can activate your windows in no time. So go check out GVG Mall, links are in the description below. Next step is write another advanced section that is virtual memory. Simply click on the change button and then deselect automatically manage paging file size. Then for the custom size, set the string to 1361 and then for the maximum size, open up system information on your PC and then have a look on your installed physical memory that is 32 GB for me. After that, you have to open up your calculator and then multiply 32 with 1024 and the value that you get over here is the megabytes. Simply divide this thing by 2 and the value you have to paste in the maximum size. After that, simply click on the set button and then click on OK and that is how you optimally set your virtual memory for gaming. Next step is msconfig and for that press windows and R key together and then type in msconfig. Once it opens up, go to the boot section and then click on advanced option, select number of processor and choose the maximum number of processor available for your PC. Right after that, click on OK, go over to the services section, select hide all Microsoft services and then disable all unwanted unnecessary services that you do not really use, such as Adobe service, browser update service, screen sharing service, printer service that you do not really use on a day to day basis. Make sure to know what you're disabling because some services such as VGC are anti-cheat and it is required to to open up your games. After that, simply click on apply. Next step is local group policy editor and for that, search for local group policy and then select edit local group policy. Be sure that this is only available for Windows Pro users so if you are on Windows Home, feel free to skip this step. Once you are here, select administrative templates and then Windows components, app privacy and in here you'll find let Windows apps run in the background. Simply double click to open this thing up and then set this policy to be enabled and then default for all applications should be set to force deny. This will help you to enable the policy to force deny the applications running in the background, allowing you to gain extra FPS. 
Next step is creating a register point and this is super simple. Search for create a register point on your PC and once you're here, select your local disk C, click on create and name it Genshin just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because it is really essential in saving your system's integrity if you want to revert all of the settings back to normal without any data loss. Once this is done, simply click on close and then close system properties. Next is the best compatibility settings and for that, open up Epic Games on your PC and then find your Genshin Impact, click on this button and then go over to manage. Click on this folder button right over here and you'll be going to the install location of Genshin Impact. Look for the folder called Genshin Impact Game and you'll find in GenshinImpact.exe. Simply right click on this application then go over to properties and over here go to compatibility and then click on disable full screen optimizations, click on change high dpi settings and then click on override high dpi scaling behavior, click on ok and then click on apply. Next step is the Genshin Impact FPS pack for version 4.7. Simply open this thing up and you'll find in six simple folders. The first one is the CPU priority in which you'll find AMD and Intel CPU priority. Once again, if you have an AMD CPU, you can double click and run the AMD CPU priority. However, if you have an Intel CPU, you can double click and run the Intel CPU priority. Second one is the RAM optimization and I have 32 GB RAM over here. So I need to double click and run this one. However, it could be different for you. So you can double click and run any one of this that you have on your PC and you can always reset it back to default. Third is the Genshin Impact priority in which I have left Genshin Impact high priority. You can simply double click to run this and it will optimize your game for better FPS. Next is the unwanted services in which I have left a lot of services to disable. These are additional services which includes Bluetooth, score parking, downloading maps and so on. You can double click to disable all of the ones that you do not want and once again if you want to revert them you can use this folder. Fifth one is the programs folder in which I have left MSI mode utility. Right click on this as administrator. Once it opens up, find your GPU in this list, select the MSI button right in front of it and then interrupt priority should be set to high and then click on apply. This will make sure that your GPU is set to a higher affinity to be utilized to render the games. Last folder is the input lag fix in which I have left keyboard and mouse latency fix. For keyboard latency fix, you can leave your keyboard specifications down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which one to choose from in this buffer list. Then for the mouse latency, I highly recommend you guys to use the fixed mouse delay for all platforms and if you have a mouse, a physical mouse, disable pointer precision and it will help you to move your mouse in real time in the game. However, if you play on the trackpad, I highly recommend you guys not to do this. Once it is done, close your FPS pack and drop into Genshin Impact for best in-game settings. Okay, once you're in your game, press your escape key and then go over to settings. Once you're here, scroll down to graphics and then for the graphic quality, set this thing to custom. Your display mode should always be full screen. Brightness should be your personal preference. For FPS, go with the highest available. V-Sync should be turned off. Render resolution, I play on 0.8, but if you have a super low end PC, you can even go with 0.6. However, 0.8 and 0.9 works just well. Shadow quality, go with low. Global Illumination, go with medium. Visual Effects, go with medium. SFX Quality, go with low. Environment Detail, low. Anti-Aliasing, go with FSR2. Volumetric Fog, turn this thing off. Reflections, turn this thing off. Motion Blur, turn this thing off. Bloom, off. Crowd Density, high. However, if you have a super low end PC, you can go with low as well. Co-Optimate Effects, on. Subsurface Scattering, medium. Anisotropic Filtering, 2x. And then Dynamic Character Resolution, off. However, However, leaving it on won't be a big FPS issue as well. Once that is done, press your escape key and now you're ready to play this game on the maximum FPS possible. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to leave a like and smash the subscribe button down below. We are really close to 200,000 subscribers and your support would be appreciated. We'll see you guys in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.